Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Go Dynamic IT. As you know that we are already running the D-Link DIR615 router series. In this video, we are going to configure our router DIR615 into um, repeater mode. So a uh, few of may wants to know that what is the repeater mode. So assume that you have a uh, you have a house and you have a two floor, ground floor and first floor. So ground floor you have very good signal, but when it goes to the first floor, your signals are weak. So what you do is you place this router somewhere middle, uh, uh, somewhere where you have receiving the signal, and then it repeats the signal. So whatever signal it receiving from your first router, it will repeat the signal on the your first floor. This is how you maintain your your uh, Wi-Fi signal consistency on the both the floors. So um, let's get into the video and try to configure this um, router. So I mean, so this is my router. In the last video, we have configured this uh, uh, WISP mode, WIPS mode. So this is uh, about the wireless service provider. If you have a wireless service provider that provides the internet to you. So in this one, we are going to configure into the repeater mode. So what we have to do is, so to, to go to that mode, we have to either you have to go to hard reset your devices or you have to go to the management and then you have to reset this device or other way around is go to the setting and uh, set a wizard. So this this option will come from any uh, any mode you are in, doesn't matter. Right, so as of now you can see here, I'm already configured the WISP mode, but I want to back, switch back to repeater mode. So when I click on the setup wizard, you can see here, um, says that in order to continue the configuration, it will factory reset. So that's okay, it, it saved my, uh, my time, right? It's going to ease my task rather, rather, rather than I go and reset the router, it's doing on my behalf. So you can see here, this is just restoring the configuration, default configuration. So restoring this configuration takes some time, so have some patience. And then after the restoring the configuration, your router reboots. So don't worry about that. It will come back. You don't have to do anything. And you can see here, after rebooting, the router has come back. And now it's asking about to run this wizard. So uh, click on the start, and then it's asking about your language. So it support like four or five languages. Uh, you can select on your uh, preference. So now click on the yes and uh, here we select the continue option here and now we are back to the mode here so I, I would select the Wi-Fi and then the repeater mode you can see here the picture so you have a router here assume that this router is on your ground floor and this route this router DIR6515 on your first floor so it will receive the signal from from ground floor and it will provide the service to your desktop or your wireless client right okay after selecting the repeater mode click on the next and here you have an option where you can select your obtain ip address uh, automatically so what it does it it will uh, receive the ip address from your router whatever router on the on, on your ground floor right and when you doesn't want to select that um, you can assign your own ip address here and the and the subnet mask here and then here it says that host name. So host name is like something, you know, you can say that uh, first floor AP01. You can give this the name something like that, like this, so that it will be easier for you to identify this. So again, this host name is related to this router itself. It's, it's not a Wi-Fi or anything, right? So click on the next. And then it's asking about the SSID. So you may know about the SSID and the, what is the password and that. If you doesn't know, this is if you if you want to um, just check that. So click on the wireless network below here, and then it will show you the list of this all this wireless network here. So you can see here, this is the list of the IP address. So assume that um, this is your ground floor um, uh, wireless network. Just select here. And it will show you uh, the SSID name and the network authentication here. So now you have to put your password here. So now let's give this some password. Zoom that is this is the password, and click on the next. So after clicking the next, it will say here uh, it is showing the same name plus ext. This is the extension, right? You can see um, you can uh, like let's say I can write something like 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 this first floor. This is your ground floor name. Assume that uh, 
this lmn2g is your uh, ground floor uh, wifi name but on the first floor you can write underscore and you can type this first floor name here and then again you have to type the password like whatever password you want to assign it to them if you want to keep the same password you can con uh, you can continue with the same password or you can change the other password also so let's give the password here and then click on the next and this is asking about the web interface uh, password web interface means when you try to log into a router it's asking about the password uh, it will ask for the password so here also we give the strong password here and click on the next and you can see here this is the summary of the configuration which is showing you to here and it will be helpful for you to um, save the configuration for later use so sometime if your router may get resetted or you re reset it for some reason you can restore it back to your device so i'll save this configuration you can see here this configuration got saved now it's time to click on the apply So this router is trying uh, to apply this all the configuration which has provided. So you can see here this is applying the settings. It's taking few seconds. And now it's applied the configuration. Now it's rebooting this after applying the configuration. Okay, you can see here now after rebooting this device, it says that device configuration is ready to use. So click on the advanced setting. Okay, so you can see here now. Um, this is uh, you can see the configuration here. Uh, this is a network society is broadcasting this uh, uh, this file, uh, broadcasting this uh, name, and here we do not have any wireless client. Otherwise, otherwise it would have to show you show you this wireless client connected to this DAR1651 router. And then all the same settings are here. Um, so I think this is what it's related to your. Uh, dir615 router repeated mode so if you have any questions queries or any feedback related to to this video please do let me in the comment box and thank you very much for watching my video